Ukrainian political expert Maxim Razumny commented on the likelihood of holding a referendum on the creation of the Kursk People's Republic in the regions of the Russian Federation controlled by the armed forces of Ukraine. If they promised to feed well and not oppress, yes, the local population would support such an initiative, he emphasized during a chat on Glavred. At the same time, the expert cited the experience of occupation regimes of the 20th century in the First and Second World Wars and not only in Russia but also in European countries, which indicates that peoples did not resist such initiatives too much. There are a number of circumstances that explain this effect. There are fewer explanations for the reaction that Ukrainians demonstrated in 2022. This can be studied to understand why such a patriotic upsurge arose in our society and why Ukrainians put up such desperate resistance. Putin was perhaps most surprised by this. Therefore, it is not known here what is the greater mystery, the reaction of the Ukrainians or the Russians. Razumny added, Maxim Razumny said that the Kursk operation interrupted a series of unpleasant events for Ukraine when Ukrainian troops retreated and Russian troops developed their offensive and there seemed to be no way out of this deadlock. This situation developed in the spring of this year and dragged on. Everything looked, if not tragic, then depressing for us and this led to our partners starting to lose faith in our victory. The Kursk operation allowed, to a certain extent, to seize the initiative and not only to develop success at the front, but also in the political dimension, allowed Ukraine to return to a more or less strong position in this confrontation. So far, not in negotiations, but it is clear that we are talking about a negotiating position in the future, among other things, he added. According to him, as for the prospects, I think that the Kursk operation will turn into a defensive operation aimed, in particular, at holding a certain bridgehead which, on the one hand, will threaten Russian troops in Donbass and, on the other, will project a threat of force deep into Russia. And we remember Prigozhin's campaign in 2023 when he almost reached Moscow and set off from approximately the same places where we are now and developed an offensive. That is, I think that the armed forces of Ukraine will consolidate in the place where they are now and will project threats from Moscow to the nuclear power plant in Kerchatov and also threaten the group of Russian troops located to the south in Donbass, he said. About 750,000 different shells exploded at the Torapets arsenal, three to four months worth of shells used during a war which is a colossal blow to the aggressor Russia. The Russians will probably be forced to disperse their warehouses and they do not have any serious reserves. This was stated by Israeli military observer David Sharp. In an interview with Glavred, the expert commenting on the strikes on the arsenals in Torapets and Tikhoretsk noted that the consequences for the war depend on how often Ukraine achieves such successes. 
The priority is arsenals and military airfields. As a result of such strikes, the enemy, for example, can dismantle large warehouses, divide them into small parts, and transport them in different directions to distance them from the destruction zone. And such actions can lead to the fact that the contents of the warehouses can be saved, but the maneuver will greatly complicate logistics and lead to the waste of serious resources, Sharp noted. According to him, the loss of shells for barrel artillery is of great importance. The Russians lost three to four months' worth of ammunition, which is spent during the war. It is precisely the shells for barrel artillery that are of great importance. According to open information from serious sources, approximately 750,000 different shells blew up at the first exploded warehouse in Toropets. This is colossal damage. As part of the intensified military operations, the Russians spend approximately 200,000 shells per month, which is a very intensive expenditure. Therefore, it turns out that as a result of the strike on Toropets, three to four months' worth of intensive ammunition consumption was destroyed, the expert says. The Russians do not have huge stockpiles of ammunition. The Russian troops are supported by North Korea, and such assistance allows the occupiers not to experience a shortage of shells for a long time. Moreover, Russia does not have colossal reserves of ammunition for a rainy day. It is not for nothing that the Russians made large purchases from North Korea. It is generally accepted that they bought approximately 1.5 to 1.2 million shells there. The head of the GUR, Budanov, even said that this seriously affected the course of the war since North Korean shells gave the Russians the opportunity to endure a war over a long distance, to spend a large number of shells over a long period and not feel infringed, Sharp said.